Hey everybody, it's Andy with Carla Bruni. The new album is French Touch, it's out now. Yolanda's book is Believe Me, it's also out now. Ivy Mix and Lynette Marrero are behind the bar. You can see them at the Food and Wine Festival this weekend. Let's go back to the phones. Caller, what is your name and from where are you calling? My name is Annette. I'm calling from Connecticut. Hey, Annette, what's your question? My question is for Yolanda. Yolanda, from all the things that you try to fight the Lyme disease, what would you say was the best method that helped you? Oh, good question. You know, I think that by removing my implants, fixing all my dental work, it really gave my, my immune system the opportunity to actually start fighting the Lyme. Because before that, it was just shut down every day with all kinds of issues. But, you know, long-term antibiotics didn't work for me. And I think, you know, an overall holistic protocol and just pure determination and commitment to my treatments every day for six years is what finally got me. What advice do you give people who, I know that so many people were reaching out to you mm -hmm. uh, who have Lyme disease. You did so much research, you had so many procedures. What advice do you give them? It's to follow your own instincts. You know, when doctors tell you you're crazy, when, you know, the world mm -hmm. tells you you're crazy, you know, you, you know you better than anybody. And just because somebody has a doctor's degree doesn't mean they know what's going on in your body. And it's just a matter of being your own health advocate. Uh-huh. And, I mean, are the doctors surprised that you have recovered this much based on where you were a few years ago? No, I don't think they're surprised. I think everybody has been cheering for me. You right. know, when you see somebody suffer for six years, it's yeah. crazy that it could even happen in today's world. In 2017, how can somebody be ill that long? You know, but it's it's been a great response from doctors that now calling me going like, okay, what's the latest test to test for Lyme disease? Like everybody is asking me questions because I have a degree yeah. in Lyme disease. You, do you really yeah. do? A doctor's degree. Do you think psychologically, <laughs> if you were at a place in your marriage that you were not happy with, yeah. do you think psychologically that split wound up helping your health in a way? You know. The emotional and spiritual part of healing is 50% of the pie. So the answer is yes. Right. I think that, you know, I never understood that that was a, a big part of it. But, you know, now on the other side and looking back, yeah, I mean, when you're not in a relationship where you're in sync and, you know, that could hold you back from healing. It's not yeah. the only reason, but it's 50% of the pie. Right. I mean, it has to be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, back to the phones. Call her. What's your name and from where are you calling? My name is April, and I'm calling from Buffalo. Hey, April, what's your question? Hey, uh, first off, I am basically your biggest fan of all time. Thanks, <laughs> April. Well my mom. Thank you. Um, I love you. Love you. But, uh, my, thank you. <laughs> my question is for Carla. Um, I want to know, you always look impeccable. Um, what is your biggest fashion triumph and your biggest fashion regret? Biggest fashion triumph and biggest <clears throat> fashion <clears throat> regret? Well, biggest fashion triumph was, um, you know, it's hard to choose because fashion is like uh, every day you're trying to get covers, you're trying to make nice shows. Right. Maybe my biggest fashion triumph was a few weeks ago when I went to Milan. <laughs> to Versace. <laughs> For Versace. Doing the Versace at almost 50 amazing. years old. That was amazing because he brought back all these years. And my biggest uh, fashion regret, would that be regret? Is that the word? Yeah, yes. regret. Like... Well, many things, you know. Um, many people I couldn't work with and uh, always running around the world, so no time for anything else, you know? Yeah. No time for friends, no time for family. And uh, well, I mean, it was young years, you know, so I, I, I don't have regrets about it, but do it you wasn't think, easy. Do you think the French press treated you differently because you were already kind of a superstar and a model and a singer and all this? when you became first lady? Yeah, maybe. I was famous from before, but you know, uh, I was always treated very nice. You know, my life is so lucky, you know? Wouldn't complain about any treatment. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Back to the phones. Call her what's your name and from where are you calling? 
Hi, Andy. My name is Thomas. I'm calling from Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, I love you. My boyfriend and I are obsessed with your show. Thanks, um, Thomas. Carla, thank you. Yeah, Carl, you're just beautiful as always. Um, my question is for Yolanda. Okay. Yolanda, I am a huge fan. Love your book. Bought it. Obsessed with it. However, do you regret anything that you have said or put in there? Because there is a little bit of shadiness towards some people. Really? Oh, what did you think was shady in the book? Well, um, just towards the beginning, um, I guess I guess maybe a little bit with David. And we, how did David respond to the book? Was there anything in the book that he? You know what? I I. You know, David and I had an incredible seven-year run. Mm -hmm. You know, and when I got sick, things went down, and it's just part of life. What I wrote wasn't about putting shade on anybody or yep. my ex-husband. It was just to share that when people are chronically ill, it strains the marriage. Right. And I want people to know that that's normal. It wasn't about throwing shade at David. I, like I said, he was. We had an amazing time, and it was just the end of our cycle together. But. People, other couples that are out there thinking, oh my God, I'm such a bad person because I can't support my husband or my wife. No, you're normal. You know, pe everybody can reach the end of their rope. Right. And we reach that point, and it's okay. It's nothing to do with shade. I hold him in really high regards, and I wish him only love, health, and happiness. And that's the end of that. Very good. Um, Carla, tell, just read to me the name of this album because I just went in my iTunes music to find, because this is... Quelqu'un m'a dit. Okay, that is my favorite Quelqu Carla Bruni dit. album. So when you're downloading French Touch, download that too because it's great. This was your second first al album. That was your first yes, album? Yes, I can believe oh. it. <laughs> wow. A very lucky album. Yeah. Um, any more phone calls, guys? One more call. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, this is Sasha from New York. Hey, Sasha, what's your question? Um, it's for Carla. Okay. I wanted to know, did you go to Mary Kate's wedding? And if so, were there actually bowls of cigarettes on the table? Mary Kate what? is married I know to your exactly. husband's she's brother. She's married to my husband's brother. Yeah, she's but your sister-in-law. I sister didn't go to the wedding. You didn't go to the no, wedding. They invited us, and then we couldn't go because of us. Stupid reason, geographical reason. Right. You know, we had to come over here, right. and we couldn't. Right. And and uh, but I mean, he seems so happy. So. What kind of sister-in-law is Mary Kate well, Olsen? Well, I met her at you know at uh, some cousin's wedding, you know, and she looked adorable and yeah. very kind. And also Olivier, he looks very happy with her. I mean, he had a lovely family, and then he had a divorce, you know, and he did. He, and then it Isn't it beautiful how the European girls yes. are just like such a different mentality? Yes. Seeing her talk, like, everything is just easy. Yes. <laughs> you know, yeah. you're not going to get anything bad out of her. So yes. You know, my Good. Girl. Yeah, it's great. It's but just... bowls of cigarettes said the lady. That was. It was reported that at the wedding they had bowls of cigarettes. And why not? Allowed? People love that. Yeah, exactly. Why wouldn't you? Why yes, not? Exactly. I mean, what's the? Yeah, exactly. Um, I want to thank Carla Bruni and Yolanda Hadid for the great time and I. For more, click around BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.